How's it going everyone? It's Coach Frankie Martinez going back to you with a throwing tip how to enter to the shot put shifting your weight into the throw. As I covered last week, the most important things to notice in the shot put and discus rotation is that the shot put is close to the neck and the discus is farther away, making the shot put harder to move in the entry. If you missed last week's video, make sure you go into my profile at Coach Frankie Martinez under the throwing tip tab where I have other videos that will assist you. Also to my YouTube at Frankie Martinez Throws. Okay, let's get back to it. So now to understand this fully, make sure you're checking out this video, understanding your axis of rotation to shot on discus, which can again be found in my profile or on my YouTube. Now connecting the dots going into last week's concept, the nine o'clock drop. The nine o'clock drop will be the most important part of your entry, but should be attacked differently in the shot put and discus as the shot put sits on top of your spine versus the discus is farther away. Now let's listen in to understand what the nine o'clock drop is if you missed last week's video. The idea of the nine o'clock drop is that going counterclockwise, your knee at nine o'clock drops down to mimic a sprint position. Now for the rotational shot put and the discus, they both have the nine o'clock drop. It's how you get into the nine o'clock drop, which differs. So again, the discus is farther away from your spine, which would be a little bit easier to move. The shot put, on the other hand, sits on top of your spine, which makes it a little bit harder to move. For this reason, the left arm out of the back of the ring for the discus is a little bit less active than the shot put. Now that we've covered that, it's important to know that on the left side, if you're a right-handed thrower, we cast that left arm out and around out and around you unwrap the upper body to allow you around the left corner if you're a right-handed thrower opposite if you're a lefty if you're a right-handed thrower the left corner is actually the most difficult part of the throw as it's setting you up to get into that sprint position most people in the shop will have a really hard time getting around that left corner and this is the reason why Casting that left arm is super critical in the shot put. It is important to note that out of that left arm, it's not just swinging the left arm wildly, but there's power behind that left arm. So the concept behind the left arm is power. Most of us have been taught that unwrapping out of the back is bad, but at one point here, you actually stop the rotation with the upper body to allow for rewrapping. One of the biggest fallacies in the shot put is casting that left arm out and then forgetting to stop the rotation. There should be a cast out and then a rewrap with the left arm. Now here's a throw all together, nine o'clock drop and catching the left arm out. Please visit last week's video for common mistakes. Over wrapping out of the back, caving the left knee in is all a problem. Now let's check out some of the best in the game and how they do it. Something to note from these throwers is that they stand tall and then drop into the nine o'clock drop. Starting off really low is actually super difficult and will allow your body nowhere else to go but to go up. Now to fuse together that left arm cast as well as a nine o'clock drop, I've created this drill that isolates that movement. This drill I like to call the three quarter South African. You take one big step out from the ring as if you were taking a full throw. Not exactly a full throw, not exactly a South African, but it's actually fusing both of them together and isolating just the movement that you need to work on. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys are following my social media for videos just like this on Instagram at Coach Frankie Martinez and my YouTube, Frankie Martinez Throws. Make sure to also comment, save, and like this video so that I can continue making videos to help you guys in the throwing journey. Have a nice day, guys. Happy throwing.